Well, good morning everyone. It is day 29, uh, about 8 a.m. <laughs> Got a nice early start today, started about 7.30. And uh, yeah, this is an awesome little section up on this meadow. Um, yeah, today I'm gonna do something a little different. I think I'm gonna do a subject video. Uh, kind of uh, van life versus uh, versus trail life. I have to say so far, there's not really a comparison. <laughs> I love van life, it's been great for me, but the whole reason that I really moved into a van is to get out hiking more. So, <laughs> you know, like having, I feel like in, in my van life, I was getting a bit directionless. You know, I, yeah, I was just kind of directionless and uh, didn't really have a destination in mind and was just kind of floating around. And I think that kind of caused me to get uh, depressed a little bit here and there. And uh, I'll tell you what, I certainly have a direction now. And uh, literally, uh, north. <laughs> My direction is north. And... Uh, I have a goal as well, a destination that is Mount Katahdin. Um, I feel like this is, yeah, this is my jam. I love this. And moving forward, I am going to, I'm going to make sure I at least get one or two months on trail uh, every year. Uh, yeah, that is the plan. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, no matter what trail it is, if it's section hiking or if it's a, a through hike of a shorter trail or if it's a long through hike, whatever, I, I feel like trail life is uh, definitely going to be part of my life moving forward. So, and it's, yeah, I'll, I'll get into more of it later, but yeah. So I guess this is the trail. <laughs> okay, yep, there's the white blaze. So, hey. On the top of Big Butt Mountain. <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the crack. I've touched on this before, but uh, I would describe myself as a social introvert. Uh, I love people and I love socializing, but I definitely need my Toby time to recharge. And I think that's the thing I've found most enjoyable on the trail overall is just the lovely balance that I get of hiking by myself all day and then getting to camp at night at the shelters and hanging out and yeah, it's been pretty much the perfect balance for me. Uh, there's been once or twice where I just needed a night to myself, so I tent camped. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been, it's been awesome. I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. I might be able to find that balance in the van, but I haven't yet. Uh, I just end up spending a lot of, a lot of alone time, which again, I love and I need, but I just need find, to find ways to get more 
socialization in the van. Um, whether that's probably going to meetups or something. A little tuna salad and cheddar wrap with some chili cheese Fritos. I will say there are some advantages of uh, van life over trail life. Uh, first and foremost being food. <laughs> uh, food in the van is much better. I have many more options. I go to full grocery stores. I eat fruits and vegetables. So that sure is nice. Um, <laughs> I'd say one of the other things that's awesome about my van is you know, I get all the social activity here, but I have so many good friends, family, people that I love to see, and the van really opens up me being able to, to travel the country and see them. And I have friends all over the country, so being able to spend time with my peeps is awesome. So all said and done, there's no one or the other. It's going to be both moving forward. I definitely want to get trail time every year and uh, I'm going to keep living the van life, but I'm learning lessons from this that I think will help me. And that one of those lessons is I need to figure out a direction, essentially, uh, with my van life and just have a little better plan <laughs> on things. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much that. So let's finish off the day going to, I believe it's Hogback Shelter, and uh, yeah, let's do it. can't really get the scale, but this thing is huge. A new flower! Yay! Bye.